Hey, welcome back. This is Brad at GrowMilkweedPlants.com and today I'm going to be covering uh, winter sowing using milk jugs, the one gallon greenhouse. Where we left off in the previous video, I'd given some instructions on how to make them. I'm going to quickly make one right now using a uh, box cutter and uh, basically a uh, ice pick. So we're going to start with drainage holes in the bottom. I've created 20 drainage holes in the bottom here of about 1 8 inch in diameter or 3 8 inch, not 3 8 inch, about an 8 inch. And now I'm going to cut the sides of it and this is going to create the planting area. Also do this with scissors. That's going to create a hinged lid. Excellent. So that's where we left off in the last video and now it's time to add some soil seeds and seal it off. So what I'm using today for soil is a mix that includes uh, a potting mix. This is uh, SOAR from a company called Full Circle Soil and Compost. It's a local Nevada company down in Gardnerville. But you can use almost anything. I avoid miracle Grow products though. <clears throat> I've mixed that with strawberry fields. This is from Fox Farm, and it's also a potting soil, but it has a finer texture. And I like the mix of the two, but I add one last ingredient, which is perlite. And the perlite is already included in some of these mixes, but I like to have more of it because it opens up the air in the soil for quick growth. And so I add in about 20% additional of this mix. So I have all of that inside of this bucket and I've already mixed it up so it's ready to go in here. After a couple scoops, fill that right up to the top. And the next step is going to be to add your seeds for winter sowing. For that I have showy milkweed seeds, which is a Nevada native. A couple thousand seeds here, but I'm just going to use a pinch. It's probably about a hundred seeds. And you'll notice I'm not putting them in the soil, I'm just putting them on the top of the soil. Milkweed likes to be sown right on the surface of the soil. The next step is to seal the container. And for that, I'm doing this outside, so I'm going to use duct tape.
that's perfect. There's still some air gaps here and here. And otherwise it's sealed. It doesn't have to be a tight seal. And what I've learned is um, in the past I've left the cap on, but this year I'm gonna go completely topless. So go ahead and throw your caps away. These are all the caps, but I'm not gonna be using them. So now we set the jug outside in a location much like this. Mine are gonna be against this wall and we're done. Thanks for winter sowing milkweed seeds with Brad Graham at Grow Milkweed Plants. We're gonna wait until spring and look for growth. All right, welcome back. About an hour's gone by since uh, the recording earlier. And what I've done is I've gone through and I filled all of my one gallon greenhouses with soil, seeds, and then I've sealed them. In addition to that, I've labeled them. This container has a uh, woolly pod, Eurocarpa. Here I have California milkweed, Californica. This is heartleaf milkweed, Cordifolia. And we have uh, Zyzotes milkweed. This is a Texas milkweed. Purple milkweed, Asclepius purpurpensias. Something like that, I can't pronounce it. I have three showy milkweed containers. That's Asclepius speciosa. I have three Mexican, no, two Mexican world milkweed, Asclepius fascicularis. And I have two butterfly weed, Asclepius tuberosa. And these are all seeded pretty heavily. You're probably wondering, well, that's a lot of seeds for these little milk jugs. What's the next step? Well, after we wait until April, May, maybe even early June, these are gonna sprout up inside of here, but these are not the planters. These seedlings, once the tops have about four to six leaves and the root has about eight to 10 inches of depth, these are gonna be broken apart and then they're gonna be spread out into multiple different planters. And so these are not the containers that you're gonna grow the plants in. This is just for starting the seeds. For the rest of the winter, these are just gonna stay right here, open to the weather above. Thanks for watching. This is Brad Graham at Grow Milkweed Plants. If it's good for the butterflies, it's good for me.